Alright lads and lasses, I'm Eccentric Racer and I'm doing a look back at, this time it is going to be The Crew 2, a game that, well, I kind of played for a while when it actually came out and then I stopped for a while, uh, mostly when the motor pass came out because it was absolutely atrocious, uh, but now I've sort of started replaying the game again, uh, mostly because my mates, uh, well, basically convinced me to do so, so yes, I'm back on The Crew 2. Um, now. There, a lot of stuff is still going to be new to me. There's a fair bit of things that I have not explored uh, as of yet. There's a few of these motor flicks stuff. Uh, the police chasers ones were a bit meh. Uh, the agency one, I think, was a point one where you do a bunch of Jim Carnamy stuff. Same with that one. Uh, that is just a bunch of point to point maces. I think that is the same. Uh, their story stuff. That is more story stuff where you unlock planes and boats and cars and whatnot. Um, I think you just help out with these. I think you just do taxiing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, that stuff I've not explored. And then obviously we just got Forsberg recently added, so we've got a bunch of more racing stuff. Uh, so you know it's all fine and dandy. And yeah. It's a, it's a fun game. I'll go through the cars first. There's a lot of vehicles in this game. Well, f 527 is actually quite a fair bit. 444 of which are all cars. Um, and there's actually a hell of a lot of cars. Good amount of selection in this. I mean, if you want a Lorian monster truck, there is one. Uh, which is really cool. Obviously, like I said, you've got the Forsberg. You've got a bunch of... Four, we've got 43 Fours. Obviously, we've got a bunch of Crown Vicks. You can have a uh, limo if you really wanted. Uh, you've got your Raptors, you've got the monster truck, you can even have the same as that, just a racing one. You've got proper rally cars and rally cross cars as well. You've got this Ford Fiesta. Um, and then you've got a bunch of motor pass ones as well uh, that they added. And a lot of these just have unique customization to these cars that you can't put on the uh, regular car. And it's it's all fine and dandy. I mean, the motor pass, like I said, when it first came out, I did not like whatsoever. But as they updated the game, they did actually improve it. Uh, they did improve the motor pass somewhat. We've got Summit Rewards here too. I'll get onto that in just a moment. Jaguars, we've got the CX-75s. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. They're loony, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of cool stuff. Customization on these cars as well is actually really, really damn good. Uh, how much money have I got? 275,000. What car... Shall I buy? You know what? Let's buy a. Let's buy the MX-5. Why the hell not? Um, yeah, cause this car this is absolutely amazing. So as you can see here, I've got just a selection of cars. You've got obviously a very old Bugatti. You've got a crazy customized hot rod. There's a KTM GTX over there, and then we've got the drifty Forsberg racing. So where was it? Mazda was all the way down here somewhere. Uh, I can't show you customization on one of the cars I did because the. As you'd expect, some cars have a lot of customizations, others not so much. I mean, that's interesting. I kind of like it, to be honest. It's a Porsche that's been going through a paint, through a uh, paintball war. That's what that one is. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. It's here somewhere. There's a hell of a lot of street racing cars. I can hear someone walking, and it's not me. Uh, oh, Christ in heavens. Uh, aha! Here it is. That's a really expensive MX-5. 167000 Better have some good customization. Of course, I can change the wheels and not that. We'll go for them. So this is now my car. We'll go for that. So I'll show you the customization of that in just a moment. Um, now the money in this game, it can be pretty tricky to come across, especially when some of the cars are costing one and a bit million, if not more. Uh, so just getting regular money can be a pain in the ass, and, and hopefully. You've got these bundles which give you a bunch of cars at a discounted price. So you've got this Elite bundle here which gives you a GTR Nismo, a Chiron 300 and a Celine S1 all for a discounted price of 2.2 million instead of 2.6 million. Uh, there's other bundles as well that you can only buy with crew credits. These will usually come with a car and then a bunch of other customization stuff if you do like that. Um, obviously we've got these vanity items so you can change the windows, you can change your tyres, horns, uh, you've got neons, you can change the boost, you can actually change the tyre smoke as well. So it's all pretty good customization. The Summit as well, hello, the Summit as well has changed a little bit since I last played it now that it gives you actually unique rewards per event you actually complete. So as you can see here, this street race gives me 30 motor pass stars, this one gives me 45 grand, 
this one as well. Uh, this one gives me 400,000 XP for just completing it, which is just really, really good. I do like that. And then the small cross one gives me a bunch of legendary parts to help upgrade all my motocross bikes. Which, you know, it's really, really cool stuff. Right, okay. Here we go. The, sound, the sounds in this game are actually pretty damn good. I do actually quite like how a lot of the cars sound in this game. Uh, oops, wrong button. Yeah, you've got horns as well. Like I said, you can customise those. Um, yeah, the quick switching as well to your favourite car, boat or plane and whatnot is really nice. Just click in, right thumbstick, and it's all there. It's really, really cool stuff. So, uh, performance parts, they do work differently. A lot of you probably already know it now, by now, but as you can see, I've got a bunch of different quality parts. So, these are only accessible for street race cars, and to unlock more, I just have to complete an event. That's it. So it does work a little bit differently because you get more you get more parts than you do in the crew one. In the crew one you basically only just got a part and then you have to keep playing over and over. In this you get multiple parts and you can get um I think I'll show you it here because I think it was uh no that's all me drifting cars. Uh I think it's up here somewhere. I have a TVR. Uh do, 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 do. it's in it is in PI order and then it goes to alphabetical order for all the cars are here somewhere yeah you can see some of the mad customization that you can do especially my 3000 GT it's a bit damaged damage mode in this game is actually pretty good as well there's no proper mechanical damage it's all just visual but as you can see the windscreens cracked we've got damages and scuffs and the bonnet's boot uh, lifting up a little bit on the 3000 from just crashing into street lights and whatnot and as you can see yeah the customization in this game is very good I've gone past TV I've, uh, I've lost T in the alphabet uh, 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 no, that's a spiker. Here it is. Uh, yeah, so here, this um, these parts multiply loot earned by two, and it can increase loot quality and loot drop. So you you do get parts that will just massively just give you a lot more stuff to upgrade cars with. And apparently, you've got a braking distance of 60 zero in minus one yard. How the hell that works? I don't know. Don't ask me. I only play the game. Right. Let's show off the customization on this MX-5. I'm hoping for something good. The colours as well, you can change that. So if you like the official ones, or you can go for your standard uh, gloss, metallic. You can have chrome paint as well if you like chrome. Uh, you can have matte, uh, anodized, which is something. I remember, pearlescent, uh, and that's just recent. Liveries as well. And you can get a lot of actually really cool liveries. There's a lot of people, a lot of talented people. Uh, with really cool liveries. I do actually quite like that to be honest. Uh, uh, of course you can actually paint over the you can print over the windscreen on it which is something that Forza I think should do so you can have that like this Yokohama livery. That's actually a really cool livery. Yeah I'm going to apply that. That's a really cool livery. Um, and what's it? As you saw it just costs a little bit of money. I can apply it. That's it. Right Mazda please have customization. Yes we do. We've got a few bot- Ooh! Okay, I'm immediately putting that on. I don't like carbon fibre whatsoever. Uh, oh my god, there's 40 front bumpers. I've picked a good car to show for customization so we can leave the pop-ups apart from carbon. No, I can have... Oh my god. <laughs> I can have a pissed off Mazda. The cuteness is gone. It's now very angry. I uh, can have it half popped up with the rounder ones. Uh, that's up oh, carbon. Oh, I can have it winking at me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I do actually kind of like that. That I can just have an intercool. I can just have it cool as one of the lights, or I can just have the lights permanently up. Uh, which I don't really know why you do that because the lights are constantly on anyway. So the lights are up. Uh, right, okay, and then I can obviously remove the indicators. Do, 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 do. There's so many. Oh god, a little radiator at the front there. I can have a little bit more of a splitter, uh, and that's it. Well, of course I'm gonna have that uh, fenders I can put a oh, I wish it didn't have the bolt on for the I wish there was just a non bolt on carbon fiber I don't like I'm not really the hugest fan of bolt on uh, fenders but I'll put it on anyway Mims, of course there's a lot of options uh, I think these are all proper ones so there you are you can actually change the color of the brakes if you so want uh, you know what we'll go for white side mirrors carbon no uh, rear fender ooh Oh, it actually lets me change the material of the roof. Some cars, uh, some cars allow you to do it. Other ones, um, some I think actually let you take the roof off. So I'll just go for the wider ones there. Right, let's have a look 
at the spoilers. So that's a ducktail. Ooh, I actually really like that. Um, oh, I can have sort of a more must be one carbon. Oh, I can have this. It's attached to the book. Yes, <laughs> that's going on. Oh wow, that's hmm, that's an interesting. <laughs> oh, he hasn't paid the wick. No, uh, I can have a different exhaust, or I can have two of them. I actually kind of like that. Balls to it, we're going for it, and then you can actually change the colour of the interior if you so want it. So you can have blue, um, you can change the seats a little bit, you can change the interior. Uh, some of them have that, I'm not going to change it though. Uh, and yeah, that's just basic bit of the customization is actually really, really good. Um, obviously, some cars don't have it as much. Uh, the commercial logos are a hell of a lot, and then we've got these special editions. Ah, I may as well, uh, I'll show it on the 3000, why not? It's a little bit damaged, but I'll show it here. Fix itself. The All the vanity stuff. Now, a lot of the cars actually do have a lot of vanity options, even some of the ones you wouldn't expect. Uh, so you could change a bunch of tyres uh, if you really want. So you can have a whole bunch of different stuff. You can actually change the tyre smoke, uh, wherever the hell surprise smoke is. Nitrous as well, when that's going off, you can change that. Neons, that's all, all that. The uh, all the different things, that some of them like the music -y, some of them have blinky, some of them have a fit. Uh, window tints as well, you can do that, so you can basically make yourself blind, or you can have that. Uh, that's kind of cool, and yeah, uh, horns as well, and you can actually add little ornaments on your rooftop, so you can have a uh, little police car, if you saw one, or you can have a drifting cam, or you can have a eagle somehow work with it, okay. But yeah, that's that's a basic look at customization. It is really, really good customization for a lot of things, and livery. I think the livery editor as well. Now I'm not creative, uh, so people who are better at creating liveries will be able to tell you better than me. Um, I know the lights are actually off, but if I turn the light on, they flick up. Yeah, that's really cool. Pop up headlights actually work in this. Um, yeah, but I think the livery editor is actually pretty good in this. I know obviously you can actually put liveries over the windscreen, uh, which is a major bonus. So if you do want more amazing inspired liveries, then you can do that. Uh, yeah, so we'll talk about the handling. It has taken us a little while to talk about the handling, but we'll get to it. The handling in this game, I didn't used to like it whatsoever. I thought it was horrible handling, but it's sort of grown on me a little bit, but I, it's still a little bit funny, is the words I'll use for it. I mean, look at the, the corner's egg spoiler actually pops up, and it, it, this is a custom spoiler. It's really good customization on cars you just wouldn't expect. Um, yes, the uh, handling. At some speeds, it is absolutely fine. I, you know, it is a very, it is a fun enough handling model. I just have a few issues with majoritively at the lower speed stuff. It kind of just feels like the car's a little bit unresponsive at the lower speed stuff. Now, of course, you can actually tune cars on this, so that's probably why I'm probably just missing like a little tuning thing uh, just to make the cars feel a little bit better at the lower speed stuff. So, you know, there's a possibility that there is that. So. You know, that, that's, that is a good thing. If you're not too f fan of uh, how a car drives, then just tune it. If you want to be a little, little bit more of a steer, you can and whatnot. Uh, also, also as well, you've got a bunch of assists, obviously manual gearbox, or so all sorted. Uh, here, here we are, so you can obviously change all of these. You've got ABS, traction control, stability, uh, drift assist as well, and then specific for the tuning. It's, it's all pretty simplistic. You can't go massively into detail. Um, obviously you've just got a bunch of suspension suspension issues on four-wheel drive cars you can actually change the diff uh, which is all really nice and yeah stuff like that it's like I said, it is just a very very good handling model and you can just improve it to suit you a little bit better now um, but yes low speed stuff is a little bit wonky but I could probably tune that out also as well the drifting in this game is <laughs> It's probably because I'm not very good at it, but it feels just a little bit off. It's kind of... In some parts, it does feel fine. Uh, let's get into a drift car, actually. In some parts, it feels completely fine. Uh, and then in other parts, it just doesn't really feel like it's cooperating with me quite as I'd like so much. I mean, to be honest, like I said, that's probably because I'm just a naff drifter. Uh, we'll go in the NSX, because that is the drifting car that I tend to use. There you are, the sound design's really good as well, just hearing the exhaust pops and bangs and whatnot. Yeah, it just... Bloody hell, it's got nothing but understeer there. Yeah, that's what I'm meaning, it's sort of... 
it is a little bit like that, and you know, sort of. Yee! God, I've ran someone over. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. I know the drifting is just a little bit off for me. Uh, it, but like I said, that's only. Uh, to the drift transitioning as well. Sometimes, it it is just a little bit off, especially at the low speed stuff. Now, really, that's my main criticism of the handling model. It's just low speed. It just feels a little bit wonky. At the high speed, it's fine. Oh, Christ Almighty, come on, get you around there. There we go. Uh, we'll talk about the events, may as well, because uh, this is a. It's not so much a complete. It's not so much a complaint about the cars, it's more a complaint about the boats and the planes. Uh, mostly because, well, the planes, I just don't like flying, because I just don't like planes, to be honest. Uh, so you've got a bunch of air race stuff, you've got aerobatics, and that's, well, it. The air race stuff is basically, sometimes you race against AIs, other times it's just a point to point. That's it. Uh, the boats, the boats are the same, same story. Sometimes you race against AIs, other times it's just a time trial. I do like, like, I just spawning a boat just in the air and I'm going backwards how am I going backwards here we go right get in the uh, Jaguar because why the hell not yeah the, the boats are also quite fun to sail around as well the other issue with the boats is that I'm out in the Pacific Ocean right now and this is only the this is the only bit of water that is actually choppy everything else is just flat water so that is another I just feel like the water, it could have been a little bit more of a better challenge if more than just here was actually very choppy water. I know obviously other boats as well will make the water choppier and whatnot, which can cause issues in the races. But outside of that, it's just uh, it, do, it just feels a little bit flat, to be honest. But you know that's just a, that's just a criticism on my behalf. Some people might prefer that. That's completely up to you. Um, but yeah. I, I do feel like sometimes the other things are just tacked on for the sake of being tacked on, uh, especially the, especially the planes because just doing the time trial a stunty thing, or the um, or time trial is just it's just yeah for me. Um, the boats I do prefer a little bit more, but again that kind of doesn't you don't really do a whole lot with them. Uh, the skills as well, there's a hell of a lot less in them. Like, on the Crew 1, that this entire map would just be full of little skills. Um, to just do And a lot of them you just probably do accidentally. Uh, but a lot of them are still the same. You, you've still got the uh, you've still got your slalom, you've got uh, aerobatics, that's new, where you have to make your plane line up uh, and get points, fly through rings and whatnot. Obviously you've got speed traps, you've got a low altitude one, uh, and you've got escape, and I think that is it. Yeah, I think I think that is it. It's just slaloming and this, uh, it's just slaloming and whatnot. It's all the same stuff. I don't think there's a precision one. I think that's been removed. Obviously, been replaced by the uh, low altitude stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. What else am I going to say? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk about the car events. The car events are definitely a lot more because it's just. Well, it focuses a lot more on cars. Oh yeah, hovercrafts as well. They got added later on. They're good fun. To me, also, I do like how they did add more disciplines to this hovercrafts. Um, so you've got demolition derbies and whatnot. You've got monster trucks, uh, rally raids. All you know. So it's all good stuff. Uh, just like you, just the stuff that crew want, but a little bit better. Uh, more of it because I think that. So now there's more drifting events. Uh, you don't just have to do the one that's in the uh, summit. I think that's. I think the crew one I'd never actually added properly. I can't remember. I've not played the crew one in absolute donkey's years, uh, so I could be talking out my ass there. But there's definitely a lot more focus on the events, more disciplines on it in the crew two than there's the crew one. Obviously, just cut back on the skills. Um, so yeah, that's that's probably about it. To be honest, conclusion wise, it's a good game. It is it is actually a really good game. It's. It's just you might you might have a few issues with the handling model. Obviously, the map is well, it's America. It's bloody huge in this game, uh, fully explorable as well. Now that you've got planes as well, you can just land on top of buildings if you still wanted. So there is that. Oh, yeah, there's bikes as well. I'm just I don't really care about bikes. It's not because I don't. I it's not because I uh, I despise bikes. I'm just not very good with them. Uh, oh, there's a motorsport park down here. Is this all tarmac? Uh, no, it's dirt. 
Oh, wait, no, I think that's just a dirt park. Nope, it's definitely tarmac. Yeah, there's a bunch of made-up tracks. I mean, you know, just adds more to it. Why the hell not? Because uh, some tracks aren't in here. We've got, uh, I think, Sebring is missing in this game. Uh, Laguna Seca is still here. It's over here, and it's still flat. Um, and we've got Little Eagle. I think yeah, we've got Big Eagle Speed Drum over here. Uh, or Little Eagle, whatever. But, yeah, it's seriously a good game. I, w I would recommend playing it. Um... You know, it's got great car list, great customization for those cars, great vanity, you can really personalize them. Um, obviously, of course, there is a battle pass which you need crew credits for. Um, there's obviously premium currency in this, which, don't worry, it, you don't you don't have to get it. Um, obviously, for the more pass stuff, you do. Uh, but for the other cars, you don't. You just have to, you know, you just play the game more. So, you, so you're not losing out on anything like that, so... That, that's completely fine in my books. Um, yeah, that's that's really it, to be honest. There's not much to say about the crew, too. Yeah, well, well there we go. I'm going to call it there for video. I do hope you enjoyed uh, the sort of review. I have had to make things a little bit shorter, mostly because I just... I don't know. I don't really feel like there's much... There wasn't really much to talk about in the crew, too. Um, there's probably stuff I'm missing, but it was also a bloody warm room, so I'm having to definitely cut it shorter so I don't die. <laughs> from just melting. Um, yeah, it's not great when you don't have air conditioner. Got a fan. Well, that's it. Anyway, yes. Anyway, enough about me. Caught there for video. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, I'd be highly appreciated. No, all feedback is appreciated. Um, yeah. If you want to join the Discord, link in the description. It's up to you. However, that's it from me. Take care and ciao for now.